Salete, which makes Martin have some unit conversion in practice. So this question is how many micrometers, how many micrometers are in a millimeter? So this mu means micrometers. Um, if we look at our chart, one micrometer is a millionth of a meter. So there's that guy. 10 to the power of negative 6 in a millimeter. Here's millimeters. A millimeter is a thousandth of a meter. So 1 times 10 to the negative third. Uh, there's a few approaches that we can take. Um, let's do kind of an algebraic setup. So if how many is represented by x, how many micrometers, x micrometers, is equal to a millimeter, so one millimeter. Okay, so the logic is the same here. How many micrometers in one millimeter? So we can just substitute micrometer um, for its equivalent in meter. And we know a micrometer is equal to 10 to the negative six meters. And one millimeter, one millimeter is 10 to the negative third meters. So if we want to treat this just like an algebra problem, we want to isolate x. So we divide both sides by 10 to the negative 6 meters. And then if we're thinking about units, we can cancel them. So we know that the number of micrometers in a millimeter is equal to 10 to the negative 3 over 10 to the negative 6. Uh, and this requires us to remember some exponent rules. So a to the power of m over a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. That's what we learned in algebra. So 10 to the power of 3 over 10 to the power of negative 6 is the same as 10 to the power of negative 3 minus negative 6, which negative 3 plus 6, 10 to the power of positive 3. So we know that there are 10 to the third micrometers in one millimeter. So that answers our question. How many micrometers in a millimeter? 10 to the third micrometers in a millimeter. There are two other approaches that are mathematically the same, uh, but I'll just go through them in case they make more sense to you. So how many micrometers in a millimeter? We're going from millimeters to micrometers. So this way um, might look a little bit more like what you did in chemistry, um, dimensional analysis or factor label. So we are trying to go from milliliters to micrometers. So one millimeter is how many micrometers? And we need to put some conversion factors here so that we can get to those micrometers. We want our units to cancel out, so we want millimeters to cancel out. And we can't go directly from millimeters to micrometers. We have to go through our base unit which is meters. Okay, so we got to put in our numbers. We know that one millimeter is equal to 10 to the negative third meters. And we know that one micrometer is equal 10 to the negative six meters. So multiplying across, we have one times 10 to the negative third times one. On the bottom, we have 1 times 10 to the negative sixth. So that's 10 to the negative third over 10 to the negative sixth. Let's tackle those units. So millimeters cancels, meters cancels, and we have units of micrometers, which should make sense to us. That's what we were looking for to answer the question how many micrometers? Okay. So remembering our rules of algebra, 10 to the negative third over 10 to the negative sixth is the same as 10 to the power of negative three minus a negative six. 
So negative 3 plus 6 is 10 to the positive third. So we have our answer of 10 to the positive third micrometers are equal to 1 millimeter. And if we don't like the powers of 10, we can just write 1,000 micrometers are equal to 1 millimeter. And that should make sense to us because there's a thousand millimeters in a meter, there's a million micrometers in a meter, a thousand times a thousand is a million. Uh, I'm going to show you one more way, which is algebraically the same, but if you don't like all of these exponents, it might be a little bit easier for you to think about. So we're converting from millimeters to micrometers. I'm going to set up my same conversion factors. I know I want my answer in micrometers. To get our units to cancel, we need millimeters on the bottom. And we can't go directly from millimeters to micrometers, so we go through our base unit. Um, but this time, I don't want to write 10 to the power of negative anything. This time I'm going to say, OK, if a millimeter is a thousand thousandth of a meter, then one meter is equal to a thousand millimeters. And if a micrometer is one millionth of a meter, there's one thousand, one million, excuse me, one million micrometers in one meter. So I hope it makes sense that if we're saying a micrometer is equal to a millionth of a meter, there must be a million micrometers in one meter. Okay, so now we multiply across the top. We want to take care of our units. So we're going to get an answer in the units of micrometers, which is what we wanted. And now we're just doing some division. You could put that into your calculator, but you really don't need to. We get an answer of 1,000 micrometers is equal to 1 millimeter. So this was three different ways to get to the same answer.